More than anything, this pandemic has fully finally torn back the curtain on the idea that so many of the folks in charge know what they're doing. A lot of them aren't even pretending to be in charge. You're gonna have to grow up faster than some generations. This pandemic has shaken up the status quo and laid bare a lot of our country's deep-seated problems. It's also pulled the curtain back on another hard truth. All those adults that you used to think were in charge and knew what they were doing, turns out they don't have all the answers. A lot of them aren't even asking the right questions. So let's bring in Newt Gingrich, Fox News contributor, former Speaker of the House and author of Trump versus China, Facing America's Greatest Threat. Good morning to you, Mr. Speaker. So that was uh, former President mm -hmm. Obama, as you know. He was uh, using that opportunity during the virtual commencement speeches to slam the president, slam his administration, it sounds like. And President Trump fired back and called him grossly incompetent. Uh, do you think that was a direct hit at President, uh, President Trump, or do you think that's just many of the leaders overall? Because there are Democrats in charge of some of these states that are getting criticized, too. No. Yeah. No, look, I, I fully expect from now to the election that President Obama will be an unendingly left-wing Democratic campaigner. And I suspect he's also motivated a little bit by fear, because these recent uh, reports about the FBI and others in the Oval Office with him uh, during the period of spying on President Trump and the transition, uh, for the first time really implicate President Obama himself. So I think there's a certain amount of uh, there being a little anxiety ridden in what you're seeing Obama do. So the president fired back and called it an incompetent administration. <clears throat> I, you know, there he, uh, President Obama is going to have his way to diminish. Uh, President Trump, and he's going to do that as soon as things get somewhat back to normal. So I think that President Obama is going to really run this campaign, and Nancy Pelosi will be effectively be president. But let's switch gears really to the theme of your book, and let's talk about what Australia did. They have stood up to China and say, we want an investigation of what happened here with this virus. China came back and said, hey, maybe we're going to stop trading with you. Maybe we're going to start putting tariffs on some of your goods. And they didn't back down. They've added over 100 nations have gotten behind Australia and said, we also want an investigation. Here's Peter Navarro on this. The Chinese behind the shield of the World Health Organization for two months hid the virus from the world and then sent hundreds of thousands of Chinese on aircraft to Milan, New York and around the world. That's why I say the Chinese did that to Americans and they are responsible now. They signed a trade deal on January 15th and they promised not to steal our intellectual property. The FBI has now issued warnings that the Chinese government is hacking the intellectual property so that they can steal vaccines for the world and they use that vaccine to profiteer and hold the world hostage. So yes, I do blame the Chinese. And he, he's right to do so, isn't he, Newt? Sure, I mean, look, the, the reality is uh, the Chinese took steps to lie to the entire planet, as Peter Navarro said. Uh, they manipulated the World Health Organization to get it to be their partner in lying to the world. Uh, as a result, Probably the estimate is that maybe as many as 90 or 95 percent of the people who are dying from this would not have been dying if the Chinese had invited the world in in December of last year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when they first began to realize they had a problem. Uh, so if you take several hundred thousand dead people, you take trillions of dollars of economic disaster, and you realize it all came from China. Uh, at some point, they have to be held accountable. They ought to be required to pay reparations to every country to which they exported the, the virus. Uh, and they also ought to be held accountable uh, for being so stunningly and consistently dishonest. But remember, they are a totalitarian dictatorship. And Xi Jinping has no relationship to a Western leader. Uh, his primary power center is the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, they operate out of fear. They run a police state. They have literally been disappearing people uh, who said the wrong things about the virus. I think the numbers now several hundred uh, have been disappeared, which is a Chinese term for literally just taking them off the street. You don't tell your family, you don't tell the lawyers, you're just gone. Uh, so we need to understand this is not a nice country. It's not a part of the modern world. Uh, it is trying to reestablish 
a world in which the, China becomes the center of everything. Well, Newt, let's talk about something that's going on in this country just about 15 minutes from right now. Uh, in New Jersey, uh, a gym owner uh, is going to reopen his business. Uh, now, here's the thing. Governor Murphy, as we look at live pictures, th these are people who are lined up outside of his gym there in Belmar, New Jersey. Uh, the governor has not authorized the reopening of gyms. Uh, but, you know, at the risk of of reopening without the governor's okay, he feels that it outweighs the consequences of staying closed because if he doesn't open, he's gonna go belly up. What do you make of what is going on in some of these instances where business owners are saying, I can't wait for the state, I gotta do it now? Well, look, I'm talking to you from Italy, which just decided on uh, Saturday that uh, they're gonna let restaurants open today. Uh, St. Peter's was open today. The Pope uh, had a mass for uh, St. John Paul II's 100th birthday. Uh, and they've now reopened uh, the great basilica of St. Peter's. So the Italians mm -hmm. are moving back towards opening up across the board. They said, in fact, that you'll be able to come to Italy without having to go through quarantine after June 3rd. Uh, so wow. I think it's tragic to watch an American politician behave like a dictator. Uh, and we've seen this all across the country. People who chose the, the governor of Minnesota uh, protected Planned Parenthood but closed churches. Well, pretty hard to argue that Planned Parenthood is more important than a church or a synagogue. But you, you're seeing all these kind of political games by politicians. And I think that uh, they ought to back off some and recognize Americans are adults. Americans can make rational decisions. Uh, and. Uh, you know, they ought to engage in social spacing. But if they do that, what's the beef? No, thank you so much for being on with us.